in general, we assume that what we see changing changes, what we don't see changing doesn't change. Applying this theory to the appearance of the face and neck does not tie in. When we change the appearance of the neck, we always see a change in the appearance of the face. So a neck lift in isolation or an anterior neck lift in isolation can deliver the impression that the facial shape is seen differently. It may not be itself metrically different, but we perceive it differently. And so the decision about this type of change is a comprehensive one. A lot of times, simulations don't capture everything that reality gives when the surgery takes place. And you can see in these images, the impact about proportions of the face seemingly quite different just because the shape of the neck has become different. This element is probably the more powerful part, in my opinion, about what makes a nice contouring of the neck because we actually get to see the shape of the face more like we're aspiring to do.